for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a peek at some of the big players in today's game. And you heard a big player in today's game as well. Let's get the party started. Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and off we go from Lambeau. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Second and ten. To throw is Newton. He's going deep for Brown. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Touchdown, L.A. Marquise Brown, 71 yards. And the Rams have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. Now for the point after. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. First carry for the five-time Pro Bowler, LaDainian Tomlinson. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, they give to Tomlinson. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. On third down, Jackson. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. Jackson from the shotgun. And he checks this one down to LT out of the backfield. Well, he's got some breathing room. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Give him 32 on the play. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. A solid run on first down. Gain of 7 leaves him with a second and 3. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Ezekiel Elliott, a nine-yard 
touchdown run. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, not much there that time. And I think we were both wondering once he got out of the box whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. To throw again on second down. Newton. They'll get this out wide here to Elliott. Five yards on the pickup. And that will make it third down. Now it's Newton. Dancing to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And that's caught inside the 35. Good catch, bro. But the game is big as hell. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. These two teams all tied after one. So first and 10 now from the 30. Newton now to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. A shotgun snap for Newton. Looking there for Pitts, but intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Jackson, flush to his right. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. First target, first catch, and a first down. From the shotgun, again to Elliott. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he's gonna take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. And he's going to have a Packers first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 
that was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Defensively, the tackle by Cam Chancellor. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down now, it's Elliott. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up, loose football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. To throw again on second down. Newton forced out to his left. It's caught by Mike Evans. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. On first down, Newton escaping the pressure right. That one complete, Elliott. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Newton. Buying time to his left. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Out of the gun, Newton. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Second down and goal. Newton. He'll get this to Elliott. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Newton. They'll roll him out right. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Cam Newton as the first half is winding down. And the Rams have taken the lead. That's a tough one there defensively because look at the stops they got. That's the only way to beat me is with Cam. So you better keep running them because you ain't beating me nowhere else. Receivers, but they leave an alley open for him to find, and he does. That is frustrating. You do almost everything right, and he still ends up in the end zone. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This will be fielded inside the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And this is caught by Williams. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson sliding out of the pocket. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action. Ready for the third quarter. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They go play action now. Jackson, he'll buy some time right. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. The give is to Elliott. Gets through and now an opening. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Elliott pushes him over. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll run with Elliott. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Ezekiel Elliott. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that will tie our game here in the third. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And, that's, and he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Nick Bosa able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Brian Doe against the safety with a pick. And into the end zone. It's a pick six and a clear touchdown. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see... What I thought that had to be. Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. Who picked up that pass? The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yeah, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball. He's got left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now a first down throw for Newton. Eluding the pressure right. Bearing this one out for Evans. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one good for 37 yards. On first down. 
It's Elliott. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Again, it's Elliott. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. They'll try to run for it with Elliott. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the 6. Here's Mostert. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's Newton. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Newton with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. From the six. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20 yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news. Plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. On second down. Italia, and this will be a Packers first down as he gets it up past the 35. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Now Tomlinson on first and 10. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Desmond Trufant there making the tackle. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. They'll try and pick it up with Tomlinson. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. They go play action with Jackson. The connection made. It's Graham. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution. A six-yard gain, and it all works out. They'll run on first down. Tomlinson. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 34-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. From the 34 now, here's first and 10.
Jackson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Graham. Touchdown, Packers! Jimmy Graham, 34 yards. And the Packers answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And they will take a seven-point lead. To the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of... And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's Desmond Trufant. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. Little bit of a backbreaker right there. You're down close, one score game, trying to push the ball down the field and score, and you throw a pick six. And sometimes you take a little bit of a gamble when you're making your throws, right? Sometimes you press it a little bit more than maybe you wanted to because you want that score so badly. In this case, it cost them. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Now Newton, flush to his right, able to connect with Fuller, and they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Great way to start the drive, 20 big ones in a first down. Here's Newton, flushed out right, he's going to let it fly, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Darius Slay with a pick. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. <laughs> True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, He's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. And they will take a knee here. Good game, bro. Played a good game. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. So you get the 